What's going on YouTube? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys more ranked singles battles for Pokemon Sword. Before this video starts, if you find yourself enjoying the content at any time, make sure you show it by smashing that like button, clicking that big red subscribe button, and letting me know in the comments section down below. So guys, in today's video, I actually finally found a Togekiss team, which I'm actually hyped for this because I can Conkledore in it and a Rhyperior, so three Pokemon that we haven't even shown off on this channel yet, so I'm actually excited to show it off. If you would like to use this team for yourself, you guys know the deal. Red code is at the bottom of the screen. But starting off this team, we have a Toxic Orb Conkledor. I'm actually very excited to use this. This thing is rocking guts. So the reason it is rocking the Toxic Orb is whenever it goes into battle, I believe, it gets a poison on him. He poisons himself, but guts brings up his attack by 50% when it's under a bad status condition. So I think it's burns, paralyzes, and Toxic Orbs or poisons. So, this thing can be a beast in certain situations. Then we got my boy, a Citrus Berry Corbinite, rocking that awesome moveset that we showed off before. So, this thing could definitely stall out and get some wins for us. Then we got a Choice Scarf Rodom over here with will o -Wisp. We get T-Wave for the Paralyze. And we can Volt Switch out and we got Hydro Pump to deal some damage. Then we're rocking a Weakness Policy, Inky Slash right here. Which, if you set that thing off, oh! Bye-bye, it's Night-Night, dude. It is Night-Night. This thing's rocking King Shield, Shadow Ball, Sacred Sword, and Shadow Sneak. Then, the Pokemon that I'm most excited for is this Leftovers Togekiss Rockin' Air Slash, Ancient Power, Flamethrower, and Nasty Plot to set up the attack or the special attack boost. So it's very, very nice. Lastly, we have this Rhyperion chilling here. He is Life Dorb. He is going to be possibly one of our sweeper Pokemon right here. He's rocking Earthquake, Stone Edge, Hammer Arm, and Bulldozer. Like, geez, yo, this team looks awesome. Like, something I don't really use. I never, ever use a Conkledore. Plus, it's rocking Toxic Orb and Guts. Like, dude, I'm excited to show that off. But, guys... Like I said, if you want to use this team for yourself, rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. Do enjoy the content. Yo, show it, guys. Seriously, thank you guys so much for the support, the subscribers, and the viewers and all that. I seriously thank you guys a ton. But without further ado, let's get into this video. Here we go. Hopping into battle number one. This guy's rocking a Ninjask, a Clefable, a Double Cloister, Blossom, and a Togekiss. We're definitely going to bring in our Rhyperior. Our Rhyperior can do some work in here. Do we bring in that Rotom? Rotom could be clutch. We're going to go with that Rotom. Definitely. Do we lead Rotom is the real question. I think we lead. We're going with our Rotom. Do we go with our Rotom? No, let's go with our Conkledor. Let's go with our Conkledor because we have that Poison and we have that Thunder Punch with Guts. So we're going to bring our Conkledor in here. Our Rhyperior is also going to come in here. And then do we go with Leftovers Togekiss or do we go with our uh, Brave Bird? Let's go with our Togekiss. Let's show off a little bit of Togekiss gameplay here. But who are we going to lead into? What would be the nice lead call? I think the nice lead call would be that Rhyperior. Let's start off with our Life Orb. Rhyperior, roll in here, then roll into our Conkledor, baby. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. I'm actually hyped for this team. I am hyped for this team. We're starting off with the three Pokemon that we actually never showed off on the channel, which is dope, which is dope, dude. I'm actually excited for that Conkledor. I think we could potentially do some work with him, considering we can set off that Toxic Orb, then Guts rolls off, bringing our attack plus 50% when we are poisoned. Or with a bad status condition. But guys, if you would like to see more content from me, make sure you go and link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. Hit that follow button over there. If I'm live, come hang out. If not, swing by later, yo. We have tons of fun. We always do shiny hunting. But we are starting to shiny hunt. We have a new shiny hunt layout. It is awesome. Seriously, it mean a lot. You guys head over there. Show some support over there. Just as much as you guys are, just, as you guys are showing support here. Blah. Got a little tongue-tied there. But here we go. Rolling out here. Who's he leading? Who is he leading? The ninja. This is who I thought he was going to lead. This is why we did lead the Rhyperior. We can't come out here and potentially just murk this thing up. I can see this thing being Focus Ash. No problem. This thing is definitely Focus Ash. So we're just going to roll out into a Stone Edge. We're going to roll out into a Stone Edge. This thing is definitely Focus Ash. All ninjas usually are Focus Ash. Mm, it's going to roll into a Protect. It's going to roll into a Protect. He knows we are popping off with this Stone Edge. Do I predict him swapping out? Do I predict him swapping out here? Oh my god, this thing gets a speed boost. Like, this thing's already faster than me. I could care less. I could care less. Um, do we predict this thing swapping out and go into maybe a hammer arm? Uh, no, we're going to stay with the stone edge. We're going to stay with the stone edge and see what this thing does. I can see this thing swapping out. I really can see this thing swapping out. He's going to go for a substitute. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. He's going to waste his focus ash, right? That wastes his focus ash. I believe but stone edge is going to pop off here. Boop. Do some work. And then potentially we might hard swap out. We can hard swap out, which would not be... No, this thing probably has a flying move. Can do some work on my Conkledor. But he can see that we are Life Orb. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. What else are we rocking? We're rocking this Togekiss. Who can actually do some work on him? Who can actually do some work on him? So I'm actually going to uh, swap out into our Togekiss. Let him get a free substitute. I believe he is going to substitute, which is fine by me. Again, that's fine by me. I, I doubt he's rocking any Thunder moves or a Rock move. So we're going to come back into our what's called... 
I would Togekiss. And even if he's Rock Knight Thunder or a Rock Move, I could see him, uh, what's it called, not using it now. He's going to go for a substitute. Like I said, way some more health, which is fine by me. And then we're just going to go into uh, the Flamethrower. He's going to get that speed boost. I don't really care. <laughs> I really don't care. We're chilling right here. We're going to go right into the... Do we go into the Ancient Power? Maybe raise all the user stats at once. We might as well go straight into the Ancient Power. Let's go straight into the Ancient Power, especially because we are just hitting the substitute. If we can raise all of our stats, that would be beautiful. What's he going to go into? The Baton Pass is going to pop off here. We are going to go into this Ancient Power. So he is going to swap out here. What that substitute? Does that substitute still stay here? Or is that only for the Ninjas? Not too sure. Not too sure here. But let's go, dude. Let's rock out here. Who's he going to pop into? Boom, Tokus. That's fine by me, baby. That's fine by me. Oh, but the substitute does come in here. Can we raise all of our stats here? That would be a beaut. That would be a beaut. Huge play for us. Come on, raise them. Raise them all. I don't think it did it. I don't think it did it. <laughs> but that substitute does do some work. What are we going to roll out into? Do we roll out into a nasty plot? Hmm. What are we going to roll out into? Let's roll into a nasty plot right here. Why do you roll out into a Togus? He has something up his sleeve. I, I see him Dynamaxing here. This way, I really do see him Dynamax, and we're going to go into a nasty plot. Hopefully, he withdraws back. That would be beautiful. That would be beautiful. I think he's very confused. He's going to go for it. We're both going to nasty plot. We're both going to nasty plot, which is fine. I'm going to Dynamax after this. Give me no reason not to. See, I don't know. I don't know. We do not Dynamax. We're going to go for that burn. We're going to go for that burn with the, what's it called? With the max flare, or the flare. Because if he Dynamaxes, that's fine. We can save for later. Our right pure actually slaps off. He slaps off. Um, let's go. Let's just go for the ancient power, man. Because if we can raise all of our stats, Jesus, dude, we could be rocking out. He's not. He's gonna go for an encore. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. You want to encore my ancient power? I would love to do that. Oh no, a nasty plot. He's just encoring our nasty plot. Wow. Wowzers. Can we all get out of that encore? Can we? Get, yeah, we could probably forfeit it. You just let us. You just made a big mistake, Missy. You just made a big mistake. <laughs> We're going to go into a Max Rock Fall here. Yeah, we can Dynamax out of that Encore. And he gave us another boost on the attack board. And we're both going to Dynamax here. That Encore does nothing. Now we are boosted in the special attack field. So you better not let us get a hit off, buddy. You better not let us get a hit off. We will do some work on you. We will do some work on you, hands down. Because our special attack is boosted. Is it plus two or it might be more than that? It might be more than that. But let's see. We are going to go back-to-back -back Dynamax in here. Unless the Encore cancels it. No. No, I didn't think so. Dynamax should cancel out that Encore. We should roll out here. Luckily, we did Dynamax at the time that we did. Kind of go back and forth, waver with them. We still have our Ripe here and our Conklin. So we are chilling. We are chilling fine here. Our attack is way higher than this than their Toad Kiss. Considering he Encore does, that's... <laughs> Again, dude, that's fine with me. Do we outspeed? Do we get the first hit? He will get the first hit. He's going to go with a Max Airstream, outspeed us. That's fine. You were always outspeed us. Jesus, man. Why so much damage? Why so much damage for this move? Okay. If that does that much damage, this thing should do way more. This thing should do way more. We're going to set up this Max Rockfall coming in here. Let's do some more. Take him out. Take him out. Let's go. Oh, is this thing Focus Sash? Is this thing Focus Sash? This thing's not Focus Sash? Okay. The Buffet should take it out then. Right? Focus Sash just come in here. But yo, this Sandstorm is going to come in clutch. No, he's weakness policy. But guess what? Weakness policy does nothing. You're dead. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, the Buffet does take him out. And now we are chilling in a pretty spot right here. We're chilling in a pretty spot. Awesome. 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 I'm hyped with that. I'm hyped with that. Dude, he did have a weakness policy. If that thing would have ate that up, he would have ran our team. He would have been plus one speed, plus with his special attack, and then the weakness policy on top of that with his boost, his special attack. Game would have been over. Game would have been over. No, we would have just rolled into a Conquador and Mac punched them, which is fine. Okay, that's fine, yo. We're rolling into a... Do we roll Max Flare? No, we're going to keep this uh, Sandstorm rolling here. Considering we can roll out into our Rhyperia after this Life Orb and do some work. Battle was canceled! Battle was canceled! That's how it's done, yo. This team is going to be so strong. We're just going to be running people with it. I'm hyped to use it. Here we go. Hopping into our second match. We made that last guy leave, yo. We crushed him, but this guy is rocking. What is that? A Clink Clank right there. A Crawl Dawn. I had Treen, Copper Ja, Sylveon, and... A Snorlax and a Snorlax. We're definitely going to be bringing in our Conkledor right here. Conkledor is definitely going to be rocking in. He can do some work. He can do some absolute work. And then are we gonna, we're going to need something. We're going to need something to potentially take out. Do we bring in our Togekiss? Yeah, Togekiss is going to come in here. We're going to go Conkledor, Togekiss, and then do we bring in that Corvo? Let's bring that Corviknight 
yeah, let's do that. We're gonna leave with the Quiver Knight right in the front spot, bring our Tokus in the back end, and then have Cockledor bring it up the rear. This is looking like the team right here. This is looking like the play call. Let's get it, guys. Yo, but I want to thank everybody who does pop out to these videos, who are subscribed, any subscribers out there who are watching these videos. Yo, thank you guys so much. Anybody who's liked the videos or even just watching, seriously, thank you guys to all you guys. Support means a ton. Support means a ton. I'm glad you guys are enjoying these videos. So let me know if you guys would like to see double battles. I'm down to do some double battles always. Always. I actually don't really do double battles, so that would be like a first for me and all that good stuff. Not a first like I did them before, but I don't do them often. I, don't, I like to do singles a lot better than doubles. But he's going to lead this Hatrine right here while we are going to lead out with our Corvo. I think he's probably rocking Flamethrower. And I could see it setting up a Trick Room. So do we go into the Brave Bird right off the bat? Hmm. We could set it into a Taunt. But does that just taunt us? We could just hard swap out into our... No, I don't want to hard swap out. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. We're going to go into a Brave Bird. We're just going to start off with a Brave Bird. I can see this thing possibly rolling a Trick Room. Or a Flamethrower. Let's see what he does. But Brave Bird's going to pop out here. Do some work. And what's this thing going to do? Flamethrower? Trick Room. Okay, Trick Room does pop out here. So, Slower Pokemon will go first. That could potentially work out in her favor right here. She's going to twist the dimensions. I don't see you one-tapping me. That's the thing. I do not see you one-tapping me. Um... We can start wasting that trick room right here. We could go into our Conkledor. Eh, I don't really want to go into my Conkledor. That's the thing. That is the thing. That is a tough little thing right here. We're just going to go into another... We're going to go into a Roost, actually. She's going to go first. We're just going to go into a Roost and see what she does. Yes, Mystical Fire just pop off here. We should be able to eat it up and then just Roost out here. Don't even dare tell me. Okay, I was going to say. That should not kill me here. But Mirror Armor does come out here, which is beautiful. That is something that we want to go off. Her special attack is going to fall. We're just going to pop off into a Roost. And her Berry's going to heal us all the way back up. And then, do we roll out into another roost and start wasting this trick room? And start dropping her special attack? Her, her special attack is down there. Which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. Roost is going to pop out here. Bring us up a good amount of health here. We should be able to eat up another hit. We could go into... Let's go into another roost. We're going to go into another roost. Let her go into a mystical fire again. I really don't care. I really don't care if you do go into a mystical fire. Considering her special attack is dropped, we should be able to eat it up. Let's see. She got Dynamax. Wow. Waste your Dynamax right there, which is fine by me. Which is totally fine by me. Okay, okay. We're chilling. We're just going to roost up here. We are just going to roost up. Hopefully, we can eat up a shot. If we can eat up two, I'll be content. I will definitely be content. Because we can waste this trick room out. We get another Pokemon in here. She's going to go into the Max Flare. Set the Drought off. Come on, eat it up, Corvo. Eat it up, buddy. Yes! Yes, okay. So, we do eat up that shot right there. We are going to go into Roost. She can set the Drought. That's fine by me. She is Trick Room. That is the problem. Then we go into our Dynamax, set off a Max Guard, and start doing some absolute work. Start doing some absolute work. I think the best play call would be, what's it called? To, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? In case she misses, we'll go for another Roost. <laughs> but she's just going to take us out here, which is fine. She's going to go into another Max Flare. And then, what's it called? We're going to go into our Conkledor here. Alright, Conkledor, we're gonna Dynamax, get that poison off, go with the guts, and start running out here. We'll definitely max guard right off the bat. Can we actually max guard with the Conkledor? We can, we can, which is fine. Where do we go with this? We could save our Conkledor. Let's start rolling out with this. There is a drought, which is effective. Let's do this. Let's do this, because I think, believe she is a special, she has better, better special defense than the Conkledor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're definitely gonna roll out with this Togekiss right here. Start eating up like those max flares and all that. We're gonna send our own max flare against her. But we're definitely uh, going to Max Guard right off the bat. I think Max Guard will be the play. Yeah, let's go with the Max Guard. Waste out her Dynamax turns and then pop off with the Max Flare. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. Like I said, she wasted her uh, Dynamax very, very early. And we still have her Conkledor to actually do some work on this Hatrine. On this Hatrine. <laughs> Yo, dude, the Pokemon Sword and Shield soundtrack rocks, dude. I'm always jamming out to it, dude. I'll just be playing. I'm like, oh, I love this song. It's my jam. <laughs> but here we go. Hit that Dynamax. Get that Max Guard off. So we can drop her down. And the Trick Room should end soon. Trick Room should end very, very soon. I just don't want her running another Trick Room. Max Mindstorm, she's gonna go for him. No. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Get out of here. There you go. Return to normal. We got that drought. We're gonna we're gonna outspeed her here and go into straight into a max flare. Be able to do some work. What would be better? Yeah, max flare would be better. 
Let's go into the max player. We will outspeed her here. I can see her potentially trying to get one last trick room off before she goes out. Let's see. Let's see how she plays it out. Do some work. Take her out. Oh! Doesn't take her out. Are you serious? Mmm. Uh, of course she eats the berry. Of course, of course this doesn't take her out. Like, what kind of game is this? She's gonna roll out into a trick room, like I said. Joke. Absolute joke. Um, what do we do? I said we go into the max airstream, boost our uh, speed's not gonna really do much. Let's just go into another max player. Maybe I should have just went into the max airstream, help us out. Considering we already had the drought, she is gonna outspeed us. Get a psychic off here. We will eat it up. That is fine. But there goes our Dynamax, and we'll finish off this Hatchreen right here. So no more Dynamax is left in this whole battle. We still have our Conquador rocking in that back spot, which can come up clutch. Which can come up clutch for us, which I'm actually hyped for. I'm actually hyped for. But the sunlight did fade. Wow, that was quick. That seemed quick. But our leftovers do pop out here, which is nice. Give us a teensy little bit of health, which is nice. Nice little, what was that, like 9, 10? Around there. Around there gives us some HP. Who is he going to rock out into? I feel like he's scared to switch out. Considering he hasn't even, like, did a swap or anything. Let's see. Let's see. But he wanted to get that last trick room. Oh, he's rocking the Snorlax, baby. He is rocking the Snorlax. We are rocking Ancient Power. We could do some work on him. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Do we go? We gotta go for the burn. We gotta go for the burn. Or we can go for the flinch. Oh, he is rocking the what's it called? The trick room is out. Oh, dude. Trick rooms are so annoying. He's gonna go for the yawn, man. He's gonna go for the yawn. Can we get this burn off? This burn could be huge. This burn could be nice. Show it to me. Show me the burn. Give it to him. Dude, he's a tank. Give me the burn. Yes! Yes, dude. Just what I needed. Just what I needed to burn. What is he rocking leftovers? Which will just counteract that burn, but that's fine. That is fine. This thing probably rocking rest and all that stuff, but yo, we can get that Conquador out here. The Conquador can potentially do some work against this Snorlax, which I'm actually hyped for. I'm hyped. Hyped for that. We could try to make it flinch here before we go out. This, oh no, it's Trick Room. So, what are we going to go for? We're going to try to raise all of our stats before we go out. We're gonna, well, before we go to sleep. We're gonna try to raise up all of our stats here. EQ's gonna pop out here. He, wait, wait, what are you doing? We're part flying, buddy. <laughs> there you go, Ancient Power comes out here. Come on, raise your stats. Nope, does not raise your stats. One can only hope. One can only hope. But the burn will start doing some work. And this thing tried hitting us with an EQ, which is fine. We're gonna uh, heal up basically the top here. Basically the max. Burn's gonna come off here, do a little bit more work on him. Slowly but surely do some work. But there goes our Togekiss, falls asleep. Can we wake up early? Get a nice, quick, early, out of sleep. What is this thing going to rock out into? I can see him hard swapping. It's going to seed bomb. Jesus. Should be able to eat that up. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. But I can see this thing rock and rest, so it can potentially be such an annoying match. Like, for real. For real. And if it does go to sleep, I'm going to rock out in my Conkledor. Like, that, that's the plan. If he does go for a rest... Which, can he rest? Like, would the rest take the burn off? Maybe. Maybe it can. Maybe it can, but the dimensions do return to normal. And we're gonna go for an air slash. Try to get him to flinch or something. If we can wake up! Come on, Tokus, wake up. I can see him hard swapping. There goes the hard swap. Can we wake up? Who's he rocking out with? Who is his second last Pokemon? It is the Crawdaunt. Which, dude, our Conkador is looking good. Our Conkador is looking mighty fine. Mighty fine for this. But I'm gonna just hold off here. I'm gonna hold off here and let my Tokus do some work out here. I'm just gonna let my Tokus do some absolute work. We could try nasty plotting. Tokus does wake up. Can we get the flinch with this air slash? Come on, Tokus, do some work, buddy. Do some work. Nice damage. Beautiful. Get the flinch. Use crab hammer. That's probably like his secret move. Oh! Jesus! Jeez! That thing did some work on us. That thing absolutely did some work. Lost some of its HP. This thing is life orb. That's why. Conkador is gonna pop out here. Did we go into a Mach Punch? I think Mach Punch is the play. This thing is life form. I see the Mach Punch either doing some work on him, potentially taking him out. Oh, it is super effective. Yeah, this should take him out. Let's go. Mach Punch coming out here. So we guarantee that first hit and take him out here. Let's go. This better take him out. Take him out. Let's go. Now it's just us versus this. What's it called? And we're going to set off that poison. And we're going to set off that poison. We're going to straight into a Drain Punch. We got to go straight into the Drain Punch. I can see him yawning. So we get two hits. Got to make him count. Got to make him count here. We got a 50% attack boost here with that Toxic Orb. Come on, baby. And he has to burn. What's well, going to do more to, to Drain Punch? We'll definitely do more. We're going to rock out into the Drain Punch. Come on, show us we outspeed him. Yes, we do outspeed. Let's go. So we could get a couple hits. Take him out. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's how it's done. That's how you use that Toxic Orb. We just basically one shot at a Snorlax. This team is sick, dude. If you can roll it out, if you can learn it, this team rocks out. 
Hopping into our third and final match for this video. This guy's rocking a Drapion, Basharp, Toxtricity, Dustinor. Wow. He's got the what's called too, the Froggy Boy Seismitoad, and Hydreigon. Okay. We're not rocking any grass moves. That's going to be tough if he brings that Seismitoad. That is our only problem. So we are definitely going to be rocking out. Dude, this is a crazy team. It's a really crazy team. We're definitely going to bring, be bringing our Conkledor back once again. Dude, Conkledor is so good. We bring our Rhyperior here. We could bring our Rhyperior. Our Rhyperior can do some work. I said we go with our... Let's go. I said we go Angi Slash. Definitely. I think we roll out first with our Angi Slash. So Angi Slash is going to come into the front spot. Angi Slash. I don't know if we should bring Conkledor. Let's go. Angi Slash, Rhyperior. Do we go Togekiss? Togekiss or Corva? That's tough. Let's go Togekiss. Let's go Togekiss. Let's lead with our Angi Slash. Bring my boy Rhyperior in the back end. And then, dude, Togekiss rocks out, dude. Togekiss is so strong and so versatile. You can do so much with her. Like legit, the only thing that I have, the only problem I have with this team is that this thing is not rocking a fairy move. Because I think fairy moves come up so clutch, considering, like, almost every team is rocking a dragon Pokemon. Well, this team obviously not, but still, we have nothing to take out dragon Pokemons. So, like, that is just why it's so tough with this team. If you can outplay them, you can, like, just kind of get that, maybe that Conkle or Toxic Orb off and do some work. It could be beautiful, but still, dude, it's tough to take out dragons with this team. That is my only downside to it. Only downside to this team. Like, not even, like, an ice move or anything. Like, you guys know what I'm saying? But still, we are chilling right here. We are chilling. Yeah, we have no ice or fairy. Tough. That's tough. Who's he gonna lead? Who is this guy gonna lead? A bit sharp, which is fine by me. We're gonna roll out into the Angi Slash here. Benny, shiny Angi Slash, baby. Let's go. Let's go. What are we gonna rock out with? We're gonna rock out with a Secret Sword right off the bat. Do we go Dynamax into the Max Knuckle? Now, let's just go straight into the Sacred Sword. Hopefully, this thing hits us. Maybe triggers our uh, weakness policy. She's got a Sword Dance. Wow! You know that we were rocking Sacred Sword. You know that we were rocking the Sacred Sword. Let's go. Let's roll out. Stance Chain's coming in here. What do you think we were doing? You think we were going for that King Shield? We ain't going for that King Shield. We ain't about that. We're about that Sacred Sword one-tapping, you fool. Get out my face! Oh, this thing is... What's it called? He is Focus Sash. He is Focus Sash, and he will outspeed. Um... Oh, no, we will not. No, we will not. We are rocking Shadow Sneak, baby. We are rocking Shadow Sneak. Oh, this thing's rocking Sucker Punch. Boy, that guy played it smart. Oh. Oh, Lord. He played it so smart. Dude, what do I rock out with here? This is so tough. The Sharp is such a fast Pokemon. I'm so mad that he actually was rocking Sucker Punch. We probably should have went into a King Shield there. and see what he was going with. Oh. That is tough. That is some tough news there. Hmm. What is the plan here? <laughs> this is so tough. I don't want to show my right here. He could probably one tap my right here. We're gonna go into our Togekiss here. Um, this thing is Sword Stance up. Oh my lord, dude, that would have been so huge if we would have had that Shadow Sneak off. But I don't see him doing too much work on us right now. Um, if we're gonna go for anything, it's gonna be this Ancient Power. Because if we do get this Ancient Power off, we can raise all of our stats in one hit. So let's see what he does. I don't see him swapping out. I mean, I wouldn't mind if he swaps out. That would actually be fine by me, too. We get a free Ancient Power off, and we can potentially raise all of our stats in one. That's just, like, a really lucky factor that you can get by doing this. It is awesome. It is awesome. But let's see what he does. What is this Bisharp going to do? He definitely outspeeds us. Bisharp is an absolute unit. He's an absolute unit. Let's see. Let's see what he has. Come on, buddy. What are you doing? What are you doing, fool? Let's see, he's gonna go for the Sucker Punch. That should not take us out. Okay, yeah, we do eat it up, which is beautiful. And now we get this Ancient Power off. Can we raise up all of our stats? Come on, show jeans. Show me it, please. Nope, we do not get it. That would have been awesome, dude. Just literally raises all your stats. But we do get this left over going off here. We still have a right period rocking this spot. But, dude, it would have been so huge for Angie Slash to actually get that kill. Oh, my lord. would have been awesome. Of course, this thing's Rocket Focus Slash. He did play that very, very smart and then going through that Sucker Punch. Alright, Toxtricity is gonna pop out here. He's gonna go for an electric move. So do we just go for that burn or do we hard swap out? Is right here park ground? He is park ground. Let's go for the hard swap. Let's go for the hard swap. Save our token. He's gonna go straight for that electric move. Which is fine. You don't know we're rocking this. You do not know we're rocking this. Unless he reads us, it goes for maybe like a toxic or something. Let's see what he goes for. The nozzle! Eat that up! Does not affect us, baby! That's what I want it. That's what I want it. And then we can go into an EQ. Yeah, let's go into an EQ right here. They're slapping this thing down. I can see him potentially hard swapping out. There comes the hard swap. Who is his last Pokemon, though? Who is his last Pokemon? Seismitoad. Okay, we'll hit him with this. We'll hit him with this. No problem. EQ comes out hard. 
Okay, I'll do some work. Boom! Let's go! That should be the game. We get a lucky crit. That will be the game, ladies and gentlemen. That will be the game. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love this team, dude. Something so cool. You got all these big, bulky Pokemon. Oh, my lord, dude. I especially love that Conklador. Just the way you can roll out with the Toxic Orb. But that will be the game. We're just going to go straight into a Dynamax. Go into a Max Quake. Finish this game off, dude. Finish this game off, dude. That Bisharp's a beast, dude. I got to make a team with a Bisharp. I definitely want to show him off. He's so fast. He has a bunch of moves. And the battle was canceled. Make that two for today. Two battles canceled with this team. Let's get it, guys. Guys, I love this team. This team is awesome. Here's one last look at the team if you would like to use it for yourself. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to be leaving a link to the person who made this team. Like I usually say, I do not make this team, but I got to give credit where credit is due. But, dude, here's one last look. Dude, this Conklador is a beast. I'm actually really liking that Conklador, the way it's rolling guts and that Toxic Orb. I love Togekiss. Such a good, versatile Pokemon. Inky Slash is always good. Same thing with that Rhyperior. I really did like that Rhyperior in this with all of its moveset. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would like to see doubles or if you guys have other rental teams you would like to see me use. Put the codes in, this, in the comment section. I'll definitely love to use them, and I'll give you guys a little shout-out. Put your little name on the side if you guys want that. But that is going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.